understand I can see what's happening And your girlfriend It's been a matter of the market move I've been waiting I've been waiting all along I recall it's breaking up I recall it's breaking up When I was in year seven I was asked to sort of try out for this kind of special high school that um, had a really strong focus on art. would have sort of visiting artists come to the school and teach us. They came in, taught us sculpture, animation, oil painting, um, paper making, puppetry, all sorts of like, you could just basically choose whatever you wanted to do for, for the full five years and um, they would mix it up every kind of term. It was really cool, like we were able to do stuff that most people don't get to do till they go to uni, really. For as long as I can remember, I've always enjoyed drawing, but um, for as long as I can remember, I felt like that was what I wanted to do with my life. And I still did sort of pretty like well at school in other subjects and stuff, but I just didn't, um, yeah, like I didn't uh, have any desire to kind of follow any real other path. Um, Although I, I think I did want to be a truck driver at one point when I was really, really young. But um, I think that was me watching an old show called BJ and the Bear. I went straight out of school into college. Um, so I chose TAFE over uni. Um, it just had, it was like a sort of a better regarded course in terms of industry. Um, professionals liking it. In the second year of that course they introduced me to screen printing, although I, I had done a, a little bit of it in high school, but that's where I really kind of fell in love with that as a sort of an art form, even though it took me another kind of 10 years or so to start exploring it again. I was really into music for from a very early Age. Not everyone I hung out with, but a large number of people were involved in bands in some way, shape or form. Um, so I kind of ended up being the sort of, you know, fallback person to have free artwork done for them at the drop of a hat or whatever. So, um, and I just used to like the idea of having my art out there. I recall it's making I remember seeing an artist called Ben Fritcho from Perth. He was kind of probably the first local guy that I really took notice of in terms of um, band posters. Um, and band posters that were really a collectible item. Um, even though they were used to advertise the shows, like, they were great. So, yeah, as soon as I really saw that, I kind of thought that's what I want to do. I was doing a job for an agency and they they said that, or they asked if I had representation, I said no. Um, they said you should check out Drawing Book, they're really great. Like I, I sort of still manage all of my music related stuff myself and uh, they look after a lot of the, the sort of non-music related, which is uh, still a big part of my work. What was great about having representation also is that it's someone to um, talk with, uh, to ask advice to, and to look after you um, in a sense of uh, knowing what to charge people and um, knowing how your artwork is to be represented out there as well because a lot of people just don't have a, any idea about um, ownership and usage and copyright and so on and so forth. So that's a really massive thing that people need to be aware of. And Drawing Book are great because they really represent the artists in a, in a great way and they care about the art and they're passionate about who they represent. Certainly originally it was all pen and ink. Um, I had to illustrate a book um, and used a program called Painter, which uh, I've never really used that much since, but what it did was it, it was designed to like replicate brush strokes on screen, so um, using a digital tablet. So it was kind of like a nice introduction back into computers because it just felt like 
um, they just really scared me. Whereas this program was just kind of like, it was basically drawing a different way, so it didn't, um, yeah, it didn't worry me. And then I just kind of, once the fear was gone, I just sort of picked it up really quickly. And yeah, now I, yeah, I like it just as second nature. Basically it's quicker and there's more time for um, or the ability to make changes easier, um, try out new ideas easier. And at the end of the day, when I'm providing separations to a screen printer, it's all got to be done by digital anyway. Being in, like being a kid or like, a, you know, an 18 year old or whatever, now you've got such a massive advantage because of social networking uh, in terms of getting your art out there than someone 15, 20 years ago did. But um, I still think with an industry like music, you have to go in there and meet people like in real time, not just in front of a computer and go out and support local bands and um, you know, meet people and talk to people and have fun. Like it's not, it's not like it's a massive chore. It's like if you're into music, it's a, it's fun. Come back.